Hi, this is Moritz with your weekly money moment. This week I will be discussing a few ways you can lower your tax bill without breaking the law. So how can we pay less tax without breaking the law? There are numerous ways, hundreds, um, but I'm just going to focus on the easiest ones that are accessible to anyone. So the first way you can lower your tax liability is to contribute to your retirement annuity. Although retirement annuities do have a set of rules and regulations, they do offer great tax benefits. Retirement annuities are like your own personal pension fund and it works on the same premise as a pension fund at work. The deductible tax allowance on a retirement annuity is 27.5% of your pensionable income, up to a maximum of 350,000 Rand per tax year. They are also great for estate planning and if you nominate a beneficiary on your retirement annuity, you do not have to pay any executor's fee on the money and it pays directly to the nominated beneficiary. Another great way to get a tax deduction is making a donation to a charitable non-profit organization where you can contribute up to 10% of taxable income in a specific tax year. Taxpayers deduct their donations from their taxable income, lowering the tax due. The reduction depends on your marginal tax rate. So for example, if your marginal tax rate is 35%, a donation of 1000 Rand will result in a reduction of 350 Rand in tax payable. The one thing is you have to make sure that this non-profit is South African and also it is registered to issue you with a 18A certificate for tax. Lastly, you must also be aware of there's a difference between a donation to a charitable non-profit and making a donation to an individual like your children, friends and family. With those donations, you can only make a 100,000 Rand donation before paying 20% tax on the amount above 100,000 Rand. So just be aware of that. The third way to lower your tax is to contribute to a tax-free savings account where the growth on the investment is completely tax-free. So any growth within the fund will be tax-free and this could ensure a lower tax bill while increasing your wealth. Although the money going into the tax-free savings account is post-tax, so you've already been taxed, the growth on it is tax-free and that's a great benefit because most other assets you will have to pay tax whilst invested or capital gains tax when you do sell the asset. In this case with the tax-free savings account, that is not the case. Also remember the tax-free savings account has an annual contribution limit of 36,000 Rand and a lifetime limit of 500,000 Rand. But it really still makes sense to try and max out the tax-free savings every year. The last way to lower your tax bill is to belong to a medical aid, but the tax savings should not be the reason to belong to the medical aid, but it does help a little bit. With a medical aid, you get 364 Rand per month as a tax credit and an extra 728 Rand per month with two dependents and then 246 Rand per month for each additional dependent. Remember also if you are part of a medical aid there are other qualifying medical expenses which the medical aid might not have paid but which you can claim tax credits on. Include prescribed medicine, payments to medical practitioners and payments related to disabilities and impairments. Here you must remember to keep all the invoices and slips in order to claim back the tax. Remember there are a vast number of ways to lower your tax legally and this was just a short broad overview. I still recommend consulting with your tax professional in order to avoid any surprises. That's all for this week. Join me again next week, same time, same place. If you have any questions or you'd like to get into contact with me, you can email me on info at Goodbye.